So this is the story of Roblox's richest players. And before we start, of course, we have to give credit when credit is due because this video blew up like crazy. It literally got over a million views in a single day. So I'm going to leave the original video in the link in the description down below. And if you don't know who this is, the person who literally made the video, then you're probably living in a rock because this is the great Cube Inc. And his videos are edited so good. So of course, we're going to leave a like before the video even starts because we already know this video is going to be a banger. Wait a second. There's no way this is real. 50,000 likes for daily uploads? Hey, yo, why do you use that emoji? Is bro trying to riz me up? <laughs> He's got 42,000 likes. He's going to hit 50K. Cube Inc., you're about, to, you're about to be posting daily soon. But before we watch this video, I do have one question. The title of this video is The Rise of Roblox's Richest Players. And, uh... I so happen to be a little bit rich myself, right? I got 12.5 million Robux. So did I make the list? Well, I mean, like 99% of this Robux was gifted to me by Hazem. So Hazem is probably on this list, but I'm not. Yeah, let's just get into the video. <laughs> Imagine making millions of dollars by simply playing Roblox. Okay. Stop the video. That's literally impossible. What? <laughs> Are you sure? Wait, about Roblox billionaire? Okay, what? Nobody from Roblox has been a billionaire yet, right? Right? That's just one of the few who turned their love for Roblox into billions of Robux. The oh my gosh. Games on the planet. That's Real a lot of Robux. Moments and more. But to find out how they did this, we need to dive into their full stories one by one. All right. With Stickmaster Luke. Okay, um, don't hate me for this. All right. I who is Stickmaster Luke? I actually don't know who this is or what game he created. So I probably do sound dumb a little Upon bit. Upon joining Roblox, Luke was your average 14 year old kid playing games 14? and having fun. He became but a millionaire at 14? Being just a player. He wanted to make a game go big. Okay, I like His it. His main goal of this was not just to get rich, but to also prove that with enough passion, you can bring a whole community together. That's true. Except the odds of this happening were close to zero. Aw, zero active. 2007. To give you a sense of this, here's an average game from our time. Aw, Blocks Fruits. <laughs> And compare that to one from Luke's time. Oh my gosh, that's what Roblox looked like in 2007? Bro, in 2007, I was six years old. I don't even think I played Roblox when I was six. Wait, what does that say? Roblox is nothing, give up, boing Lego game, <laughs> what? But if you truly want to achieve your goals, you should never be afraid to take that first step. Exactly, true. Welcome to the underground war. Even with nothing, Luke tried his best. Despite his okay, flaws, 2008? players somehow found joy out of, uh terrorizing other players wait what is this to the game reaching a couple thousand visits oh although it's not much this was amazing for luke because the thing is roblox back then paid you virtual money whenever someone joins your game so oh really relaxing, luke okay that's a actually kind of cool in the following years getting more players and more money from his fun simple ideas Okay, well starting to get YouTube, rich. Which clearly worked. His original idea sparked some of the oh most well-known Roblox players. Wait, who is this? Oblivious 3.5 million subscribers. I remember this was the first ever Roblox video I watched. That's crazy. I remember watching this in my room on my desk in fourth grade. That's insane. So obviously he deserves some amount of fortune. But even with this money, he can easily lose it all if he didn't spend it wisely. Okay, yeah, that's true. Did he buy a Dominus? No, no way. way you're spending all that Robux on one single. <laughs> and he did it. Oh my gosh. In hindsight, this may seem like a dumb move, but you'll see why it's genius. Okay. But to make the money back, Luke worked really hard on his games, making each one better than the last. But rather than making them flashy like modern games, Ooh, Blade Ball! I love on Blade Ball. Them replayable, meaning you can play them again and again and again without getting bored. Okay. This led to him reaching 10 million visits, meeting Ooh. actual Roblox admins, and most importantly, Buying a bunch of hats. Bro, wait, is that his inventory? Oh my gosh. Bro just buys a bunch of limiteds, huh? <laughs> hats for some reason. But this would all change on one fateful day. Okay. It's 2011 and Luke got a message from a special person. Roblox himself? The owner? I noticed your games are getting so much love from the community. Why not come work here? What? Wait, this has to be fake. No way a child can work for Roblox. Wait, this kid was 14 years old and Roblox invited him to work there? That's actually right. so crazy. We caught up with Luke Weber, Roblox's newest employee. And all while being an 18-year-old kid. Most oh, he's 18. Like, uh, 
flipping burgers and stuff like that. And I, I feel kind of bad for them because I actually got this opportunity for this great job and everything. With this amount what? of power, he can easily abuse it when things don't go his way. Okay, no. is that what he did? He stayed true to himself and okay, kept that's learning good. how to develop. Thanks to this, he made even more Robux by selling his own items. But just as you thought he couldn't get richer, one of his oldest games randomly blew up. What game? Wait, did he create natural disaster survival? Wait, is that him? Wondering how a game this basic blew up four years oh. later. Well, the answer is in the gameplay. Welcome to NDS. You spawn That's on this so platform, sick. Get drafted to this island, and a random disaster. Bro, I literally played this game today. You and everyone you love. A bit repetitive, right? I mean, the game itself had a lot of glitches and didn't even update oh, much. Oh, okay. So you may think it'll die out. That guy is screwed. But these imperfections added to the randomness and funny moments made in the game. Dang, bro, that's crazy. I didn't this know he was exactly the owner of the game. Wanted. The true magic of this game is that everything is completely random. You know what's crazy, guys? This was the first Roblox game I ever played in my entire life. I think I was like 11 or 12 when I first played it. That's crazy. You don't know what to expect, which makes it really replayable. But with the entire community at his fingertips... Luke. One billion visits with great power to comes great responsibility. Boring, he added a multi-disaster machine. This allowed rich people to um, Oh, that's what I do. <laughs> I spent a lot of Robux doing game. that. But even with an update schedule worse than mine, the game still Dang. made a ton of money from players paying to win, and I am definitely not one of them. But even still, this wasn't Luke's biggest flow of Robux. What? It's not? That would be the Hatsy bot. Back then, they were a lot cheaper, costing a few hundred Robux. But as what? time went by, the price of the hats, especially his Dominus, rose to millions, making- Well, his Dominus is worth 600 million Robux. What the heck? This kid is rich. Him even wealthier. Oh but my gosh. The success, Luke remained humble and continued to help with huge events and kept this game simple causing them to thrive dang that's but so even cool with billions of visits the second most valuable account and a fat pay from roblox oh my gosh more millionaires in our community what the heck Unlike that's Luke, the first Snickers one joined a lot later oh the owner of blocks so let's of go because the games were getting stale although we had more players adopt me had higher competition and higher standards for games Oh, yeah, and game visits no longer convert into robots. Aw, dang it. <laughs> but unlike most devs, Snicktricks did have experience with Minecraft servers and even made a cute Roblox farm game, Aww. which didn't get much, but combining oh. these two ideas, he spent months working on a project that can fail or change his life forever. Ooh. Most devs back then would create the same kind of game over and over and over. But Dang, did he? Them. Wait, did Cubing just throw shade on Pet Simulator X? He just showed Pet Simulator. <laughs> the risk of creating Minecraft themed Roblox games. The first being Skyblock. You spawn okay. on this tiny island. And use oh, little... I'm an idiot. Snake Tricks didn't make blocks fruits. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking. You all right? have <laughs> to make something great. Despite the effort, Minecraft clones usually fail. So Skyblock started off slow. Oh, Aww. never mind. Oh, whoa, it started off amazingly. It wasn't so bad to make something different. But Snake Tricks was shocked at how fast his game blew up. Perhaps it was the great game mechanics or the progressive nature. But players started playing and money started flowing. Oh my gosh, 12 Minecraft million Robux. Costs money. But on this game, you essentially get the exact same experience without having to pay any sort of money whatsoever. This Dang. means that everyone can play it. More players, more money. But to keep the game afloat, the updates had to be creative. Okay, farm update. The next big thing on God, this is the best game. I love it. I freaking love Skyblock. <laughs> Give more updates, please. This is unoriginal and disrespectful. Oh, oh, That's dang. That's a bit of a stretch. That's a hate comment. Roblox moderators should ban this game forever. Oh my gosh. People agree with this. <laughs> this game keeps copying Minecraft. Imagine copying Minecraft. Copy of Minecraft. Bro, why are they so Skyblock. mad? Imagine having a no. stupid for playing a copy of Minecraft. Oh my goodness. Okay, but this won't affect the game itself, right? Did it? Oh, this is suspenseful. Skyblock was all of a sudden gone. Oh, no. Dang. Players complained that they stole from Minecraft, so Roblox shut it down. Aww. I want my 7K Robux back now. I just want to say, if this game gets shut down, I want my Robux back. Oh, dang it. That sucks because people lose Robux when games get shut down. It seemed like Snick Tricks will give up on his goal. But as a last ditch resort, they changed the name from Skyblock to Islands, praying the ban would be lifted. Oh, and it worked! Because I remember playing Islands.
Yes, sir. We're back in business. Using the second chance, he needed to play his cards right. With a whole website full of ideas, the team knew exactly what fans wanted. Dang. What if we made it so players can visit other islands? That's so cool. With better updates and better things to build in your island, players spend more time and money grinding out their base, leading to amazing creations, bringing attention to the game. Hey, Everyone that's being so obsessed cool. With making the best base possible, you may think their game will never die out, but right as the new year started, they made the worst possible update. What? What'd they do? Since the game had so much content, players easily found ways to dupe items. This Aww. made everything less valuable, meaning less Dang. people will spend money on the game. To fix this, the devs wiped everyone's money and items. Players went ballistic. I'm quitting this game. <laughs> Imagine losing something valuable just because someone else broke rules. We cleared all your Robux because we found people duping Robux illegally? What? This led to many, many players quitting. And on top of all of that, the game got way too complicated with all these new items. With Dang. all this going on, you may think the team will call it quits. But instead of seeing this as a bad thing, Snicktrick saw this as a chance. He made to make bad wars. And great. Let's go. With the knowledge, money, and attention he got from islands, he spent months on a new game with the goal of getting emotions out of people and that game was roblox bed wars. yes sir i love bed wars on on, on, bed on. okay i'm sorry for the kiss i am sorry a lot more competitive because instead of building and farming you spawn on yep. an island with infinite lives if your bed breaks you have one life left last team standing wins snitrix had a lot of faith in the idea so they slowly drifted away from islands to focus completely Wait, is islands on even a thing now but with that as their main source of money they better not mess it up up. They didn't, trust me. First stop, Snicktrix Bed Wars is still copied on top today. So to avoid getting banned again, he spiced it up by adding a bunch of kits. Each Ooh. helping you win in game. Since players were competitive, I'll beat you easy. Of Robux on them. <laughs> the devs get money and players have fun. Yep, I've spent so much Robux on Bed Wars. All right, so um, yeah, I love Bed Wars and I hope Bed Wars gives me a Fulton kit. Hopefully, I don't know. It's a win-win, but there's still one issue. Okay. It's cost Robux, so not yep. everyone. Can <laughs> this is unfair. Fair. To fix this, he added a battle pass. By grinding the game long enough, you can unlock kits for free. But some Wait, the Jade Hammer was a free kit of the battle pass? I didn't know that. What the heck? 15k Robux to instantly complete the battle pass. Yep, I would Hopefully buy them all this every time. Won't cause any problems. <laughs> And on top of all of that, the team added enchants, which made the game even more insane. Bro, See, the enchants are so cool. This game, you need as much loot as possible to buy OP stuff. But yep. players found ways to combine kits and enchants yes, to completely sir. break the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's getting so much loot. Oh my yeah. gosh, 300,000 players. These tricks and the gameplay in general always made players rage. To get revenge, <laughs> they spent Taza. more money on OP kits. On the flip side, he made just as much from kit gifting. This allowed Giga Chats to spend thousands of dollars gifting everyone kits. Yep, yep, guys, I've done literally huge giveaways on my live streams. If you don't come to my live streams, you should, all right? Because they're awesome. But also, Snick Tricks gets a percent of the money. More yep. players equals more gifting equals more money. Another smart move from the dev was adding wins. Oh, streaks, there's Chase! Basically, how many times you win in a row. Because of this, players spent weeks building insane win streaks, having yep. everyone cheer for them, only to lose it to a hacker. Which, Bro. to be fair, added more hype to the game. Oh my gosh, that was the most annoying thing ever, bro. I remember one time I was like on a really good win streak and a hacker destroyed it. I was so mad. To keep Edwards alive for as long as possible, the devs had to update as much as they yep. can. So, throughout the year, every week they added game mode kits, OP items, you name it. It seemed like every day there's some new game-breaking glitch. Really, that is true. Which feel infinite. But all this hype led to an inevitable problem. Picture what this. problem? You stumble across Bed Wars does not have a problem. First time. You join a match. Oh, yeah. I know what he's going to talk about. He's going to talk about the skill gap now. Like, if you're a new player trying to come in, you're getting destroyed. It's going to be hard for you to get good. Your bed is broken. Yep, and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Considering we had 25, wait, no, 45 kits, it was nearly oh my impossible gosh. for new players to play. Because anyone can get these broken kits by spending crazy amounts of yeah. gold. Players went ballistic over the unfairness. To fix this, the devs added relics. Basically free upgrades. To oh, the start of I remember match. relics. It's the right idea, but... For the love of God, just remove relics. It's literally luck <laughs> I forgot to mention, relics were chosen randomly. All it did was make Bedwars luck instead yeah. of skill. Yes, the kits made millions 
of dollars. But if oh my pro players gosh. and new players felt excluded, what's the point? Dang, what is the point, huh? Wait, what is this? What did they add? Remove relics. Yes, I remember when they did that. Snicktrix had a new goal, not to make as much Robux as possible, but to make Bed Wars truly fair for everyone. Exactly. To do this, we need to figure out what made the game unfair. Firstly, no one likes fighting a tryhard with an unfair kit, so the devs made a kitless game mode. Let's murder go. In Bed Town, a murder mystery type game. I don't and really like that one. I didn't really like the murder mystery game mode. Yes, in the past we did have free to play game modes, but those still had tryhards and hackers, and no one likes that. Yeah, nobody Overall, likes hackers murder at in all. Bed Town gave new players something exciting because all you needed was to watch out for the murderer but <laughs> that wasn't enough next up they made the better kids free so new players had a chance to level up in the battle pass for context free kids go free each yep. week but they usually sucked yeah but now they get literally the best kids for free like bed wars has been improving every week and i'm happy because i play bed wars every day but even with these changes a balanced game needs more balanced game modes yep. so the devs got to work on two special ones the same kit mode where everyone has the exact same kit that's actually a really OG cool idea mode. unlike all the other game modes this one had no kits, no forge, and no unfair shenanigans. Because of their thoughtfulness, many old players came back just to exactly. play these game modes. Exactly, yes sir. Guess simple and fair always wins. But the best for last, the devs used an old feature from 2021, custom matches. This lets you uh, make your own custom matches. game and spawn any item, which on its own kept the game alive for a bit. Wait a second, dang, Cubink! He hasn't even showed me in the video. It's okay though, I, I forgive you. But the devs took it a step further by adding scripts, allowing you to oh, modify your game. I Bro, scripts made it so much better. I actually need to make another video about scripts because they're so fun to use. Basically anything. Like, exactly. I honestly thought this wasn't possible for Roblox. This gave each player a chance to make their own game. Mode. Yes, sir. And even make money by selling scripts. By giving players some kind of control, it's kind of hard for it to get boring. Oh, it's like, me! Hey, hold on. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. We gotta we gotta see that handsome man. Some kind of control. It's kind of hard for Wrong. it to get. Look at me. Look at me, boys. Look at me. All right. I'll keep it going. Boring. Unlike most devs, Snicktrick successfully made a fair and endless game. But even with 10 billion combined visits, oh two my innovation gosh. in the same day, and a team of hardworking devs, there's always a bigger fish. That's in the insane. Sea. Wait, who's this? Well, Snicktrick saw Minecraft as inspiration. Indra loved fighting games and saw them oh, as inspiration. Fruits. With this newfound love, him and his brother spent years in their garage, making anime fighting games and following their inspiration. Oh, uh, none of the games. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> However, all this work didn't completely go to waste. Along the way, they met a bunch of like-minded people. W? We all want to make a successful fighting game. Let's put all our skills together and make this happen. Yes, sir. Dang, this is how Blockshoots was created. Wow. And with some extra hands, he was able to create two pretty decent games. The first one kind of bombed, Oof. but it got recognized by a pretty special person. But as for the second one... Elemental last, Wars. Number one PC game is pretty cool. Uh, that was fast. What? Players love the game idea. All you gotta do is pick an element and start swinging. It's so simple, which means any player can get into it. But okay. the billion dollar question is, how will Indra stay on top? Yes, getting up was easy, but staying up is a much, much bigger challenge. Surprisingly, Elemental Wars wasn't his final vision of Roblox game. Even with all of this, he was yet to reach his full potential. Dang. This would be a cool Roblox game. This is One Piece, one, piece. one of Indra's favorite animes and conveniently, the number one show in the world. Using the cool mechanics from his previous games, he and his team made a sequel, Blocks Piece, with the goal of spreading his love for his favorite show. At first glance, Blocks Piece Whoa. looked a bit generic, but uh. the real genius was in the gameplay. Since One Piece was so popular, Indra took a lot of things from the show and applied it to his game. That is with so smart. With 12 different fruits that had abilities similar to the show, surely it'll appeal to the millions of one piece fans. yeah literally but to actually make them play indra made sure that all the mechanics were flawless bro they got the buddha fruit That's yes my sir favorite in the show. shut up and take my money 1600 robux is crazy indra continued to add fruits islands weapons and npcs based on the popular show he also let one piece fans decide the next update which oh overall, that's super made cool the game more interactive and prosper financially Hey! But after this, Indra completely switched his plan. 
Usually, he would do many updates weekly, which players love. Yeah, now he does not update the game at all. But what if we put all our effort into one big update instead? Update that 20! Work, I remember, I, I love update 20. Longer for updates. But if you want to stay on top, you need to take risks. So for the next three months, the team worked non-stop on their biggest update yet, hoping players won't forget them. Welcome to the Second C. Many new fruits, cooler weapons, and higher levels to grind for. Players had so much to do, which led to them inventing the first major challenge. You start with nothing, buy a fruit, and only use that to get max level. Yes, Not sir. Not only did this flood interest bank account, but also motivated new players and gave the game promotion. But even with a very dedicated fan base, Indra still didn't have an identity. Dang, he, he does it? From One Piece, which not only seemed unoriginal, but One Piece themselves were striking games that replicated What? Them. Wait, did Blockstars get striked before? No to way. To having an island's moment, Indra rolled out another big update, completely revamping the game. Oh, From simple mechanics third to the C. game itself, Indra made sure it's still like One Piece, but had its own blocky charm. That oh, way, that's cool. One Piece fans will still like it, but it may appeal to more players. Another way Indra expressed himself was giving back to people, mainly Axior, a longtime fan who Who's made Axior? Final videos on the game. In return, oh. Indra and his friends gave him front row seats to special admin powers. Whoa, that's so from sick. From flying boats to never before seen abilities. What made these clips surreal is that these Whoa. powers are so different from the normal fruits everyone loved using. Not only did players obsess over them, but also made lore out of it. Since Blocks Fruits had a whole story now, players stuck around to see the story develop and develop it did as time went by players got more and more obsessed on the oh latest yeah you can buy accounts on blocksters but guys never do that that is bad <laughs> spending millions of robux on private servers to grind levels in peace yep. although indra made a fortune from this he didn't waste it on hats cars or drugs and instead what? spent it on making bigger updates such as fruit awakenings which basically buffs your fruits abilities you gotta act broke to stay rich and although yes, he didn't need to he added youtubers in the game as npcs a nice token what? Of he did that i didn't know that but in the next six months the game only updated one time yeah but the thing is blocks fruits didn't need as many updates each one was already massive plus that is true it was very replayable with dozens of fruits and two massive realms to fight in the possibilities were endless plus it was easy for new players because they can't get attacked and just yep. like before indra knew how to keep players hyped knowing how competitive the game was he and his brother made two enemy clans kind of like a friendly rival oh that's cool i didn't know that keep players on their toes where's this redhead time to die what <laughs> okay, oh there's kid gaming maybe not so friendly while the devs stay quiet Players sure didn't. Using their wild imagination, they came up with better and better PvP combos with the fruits and fighting styles from the last big update. This randomness made the game a lot more competitive. Yep. Which Everybody's exactly always trying to kill Indra would in have that wanted. game. Wow, if the game was this hype without updates, imagine yep. what will happen if... Update 20! This is update 20, right? Update 20? Is it? Oh, it's update 15! Oh my gosh, this seems so hype. With Welcome to Thursday. And the new level cap. Let's just say the six month wait was worth it. By spending more time on fruit designs, weapons, and pretty much everything, players were more motivated to spend days trying to get them. Yep. Not because it's from One Piece, but because of how awesome they look. But to make the community stronger, Indra added trading. Every fruit had its own value. Oh, you couldn't scammers. trade before. This made fruits like Pokemon trading cards rather than blocky weapons. But best of all, this inspired viral challenge videos where you start yep. with the worst fruit and then trade your way to the best. After this, Indra wondered how big his game could get. His plan wasn't to squeeze money out of players, but to make the best updates possible and keep players playing. And he did just that because update 20 was amazing. Because if his fans were happy, he was happy. Yes, sir. Okay, we're still in 2022. 700,000 people playing is crazy. So today I made over a hundred accounts in order to spin for the new legendary <laughs> leopard fruit and blocks. Fruit. Wait, am I going to be in this one too? I don't know. Probably not. I haven't been what playing boxes for that long. Aw. Anticlimactic way to end off this video.
the new fruits took so long to get, which gave players a reason to keep playing. Yep. So following this, he added V4 Awakenings. Bro, V4 takes forever to get. But you need to follow an entire story for a chance of getting them. Literally, it took me 10 hours to get my first V4. 10, 10 hours. hours! Not only added to the lore, but made fighting a lot more immersive. While Indra worked on the next big update, he took some time to realize Bloxfruits may have started with him, but it definitely outgrew him. Despite the effort Aww. he put into each update, he couldn't have gotten this far without the help of others. So to pay respects, he made a whole event to thank his fans for 10 billion visits, mailed a Aww. Rolex to Axior, Bro, and lastly, I saw wrote a little that. poem to thank his brother for sticking around, even after years of failed games. We struggled together. And now we shine together. Aww. Oh, and speaking of shining, welcome to update 20. Bro, For eight whole yes, months, update Andrew 20. Poured his heart into the update, so fans poured their hearts back into playing. The new fruits, locations, the sound and so bosses cool. were so spectacular that it not only broke the player record, but also crashed Roblox 12 times that day. Bro, that day was so annoying. I was trying to record, and Roblox just kept crashing and crashing and crashing. But the crazy part is, that's just part one of update 20. Considering he's always planning ahead, I'm sure Indra will have yep. many more years of bringing joy to players and YouTubers and inspire other devs to do the same. I guess true passion always wins in the end. Yes, sir. You did it, boys. But doesn't that make you realize... Despite being three different players, they all have one thing in common. No, not their insane amounts of money. <laughs> Oh! Wait, what the? Is that a real dono? No way. But their true love for making Roblox games, their main goal wasn't to make some cash grab, but to create something that'll be remembered for years to come. Because at the end of the day, money is temporary, but your legacy can live forever. That but is considering true. Considering how massive Roblox is, there's a lot of people I left out. So if we somehow get 100k likes, I promise to make a part two with even crazier players. Bro. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment who you want to see in the next video. Literally, for real, this this video is definitely gonna hit 100,000 likes. And guys, comment Fulton so I can be in the next video. You know, riches, rich. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not rich. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go. See you guys.